You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich, at the Jacklich Law Group. Good evening from Xfinity Center. Maryland takes it over Mount St. Mary's in a debut of a new team, Bruce. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Foster. Mason starts off tonight behind the camera. As usual, say, what did you see out there? Well, I'll tell you what I saw that I loved, mm -hmm. all right? I loved number five, Deshaun Harris-Smith. He is, he is special. He's, a, he's got a tremendous motor. When he went down, I almost had a breakdown, all right? He was fine, it was just cramps. But the way he drove to the basket, his unselfishness, everything about his game, I love. And, you know, you gotta remember, it's his first game. Will was talking about how him and the freshmen were going to, you know, have some growing things. Jamie Kaiser as well. Jamie Kaiser had a great one minute. He had a couple, I say that not just, a couple good baskets. Juju was Juju. Juju 18 sir. points, controlled the bat boards, some bad fouls again. I mean, that's, well, when they play small, it seemed like he got in foul trouble. But CHS was a plus 22, plus minus. I think that Juju was plus. 21. So that's what Willard loves to see. That's the only stat he looks at. That's why Harry Long, uh, 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 Long plays so much. He doesn't score, but his stat line is always plus. Well, he is a positive force. Right. Uh, Jordan Geronimo plays a lot of power forward to get a steadying force. Dante Scott, when they got a little sluggish, came in and got a quick seven points. So, one thing that I noticed is there might not be enough basketball to go around. We got a lot of guys that They'll want be that ball. I, I thought everybody looked pretty unselfish. Might have trouble getting some guys their points, but if they win, what the hell's the difference? Uh, there, you know? there isn't one. And Maryland, Maryland does what they have to do. When Mount St. Mary started to get into it, Maryland goes small and, and rides this out. They had, what you say, they had a, a big lead. Then they had a smaller lead and ends up it just fine in the they end. They just played out the string. If Maryland hit all their free throws, they would have won by a lot more. Well, that's how Michigan State lost yesterday. Sorry, Tom. So, listen, you made a great comment at the beginning of the game. Something that I noticed at the couple practices I was at for 10 minutes. Uh, of course, that's all they allow me. Okay, I'm not being facetious. That's all they allow anybody. Right. Continue. But, but, the team looks much bigger. Oh, yeah. Is it me? In other words, it looks like a big team that I've never seen us have. Well, you're looking at, at like Kaiser, a football player is playing basketball here. He's the wide guy. DHS, these are wide guys. You bring in a 6'11 guard and Matty Treor. You look good when you warm up. They look like a big team and we left off. Young Cal, CSR, plays some significant minutes in the middle. They didn't need Juju for the whole night. The whole package looks good. This seems to look a lot better as the season goes on. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. We will be back after this word from the Big Dog himself. The biggest difference in a truck accident versus a car crash is the investigation that the lawyer has to do right from the beginning of the case. Number one is obtaining the logbooks of the driver to show that the driver was not rested properly according to federal law. Uh, investigating through the black box and getting an expert to figure out from the black box of the truck, the speed of the truck, or where the truck had been. So it's just different type of handling. Usually you have catastrophic injuries involved with tractor trailers as well. You have a massive, heavy vehicle that strikes a much smaller vehicle, you're going to have more massive injuries. So it's a different ball game. And if people are injured in a truck crash, they really, really need to find a lawyer that knows what he's doing with truck crashes. takes it 68-53. Pretty happy house here. And now Maryland goes on to Asheville. Bruce, what do you see down there? Well, it's a tournament. To, they're playing Davidson and uh, maybe Clemson. Or who's Clemson playing? I forgot now. But probably Clemson. But I gotta tell you, they gotta play better. But let's be real. That first game, everybody's got the jitters, the freshmen. So they'll be better on Friday night. But it's a good early test. 
But you've got Clemson, probably, at Davidson, and then they play uh, Villanova in the Cavett games. Right. So there's no, you know, no break. There's when no they, break. When they talked about playing Georgetown this year, the response was they just couldn't fit in the schedule. Look at the schedule, I believe it. Speaking of wonderful scheduling, I've got to go to football for the last 30 seconds. Maryland breaks out the all-white Sorrell Frigionero look. They're in Nebraska, 12 o'clock on Saturday. Maybe that'll help a lot of them. Two and a half point favorites, but uh, I, I'm, I'm surprised they are favorites with the way they've been playing, aren't you? I, I am too, but the world still loves leading that offense. Maybe, maybe this time they get it done in the Frigion era. Whites. Mason, have any follow up comments from behind the camera? Mason says no. One final out. comment. I talked to my brother down in Florida on Saturday. I said, Watch our quarterback today. You'll really like him. So he said, All right. He knows it's to his brother. He's a big Dolphins fan. So he called me up during the game and we were getting. We were getting deep. And he says, Man, I love that quarterback. Everybody. Everybody says that. 17 passes in a row. For once, he kept us in the game. It wasn't nearly enough. And with that, we'll close this out. Maryland basketball opens what looks to be a fabulous season with the win against Mount St. Mary's for Wayne, for Bruce, for Mason. Thanks for watching. We will see you after Maryland, Nebraska on Saturday.